come with me to the rolling sea while the weather's calm and still. And we'll have some fun and laughter with the adventures of Portland Bill. It was Cromarty's turn to tidy up the paint room. But as it happened, on the very same day, Ross was looking after his uncle's parrot, Valencia, who was feeling a bit poorly. So Ross and I were making a big fuss of her. Look, I says, she's not eating her breakfast. We'd better keep her warm and make sure she gets plenty of rest. Rest, moaned Comedy. But that's what I need, not work. It's not fair. I don't feel well. But he got no sympathy from me. Off you go, Cromarty. There's plenty of work to be done, I said. You can't get out of it like that. So off he slouched, moaning all the way. When did that parrot last do any work? Never. But when she's a bit poorly, it's, uh, oh, see here, take the armchair, have a rest. But it's a different story when it's me, assistant keeper Cromarty, engineer, grade two. Then it's check the light, polish the brasswork, and tidy up the paint room. Hey, hold on. Paint! Well, the next thing we knew, Cromarty staggered back looking proper poorly. Suffering swordfish! cried Ross. Look at all those spots on Cromarty's face! Spots? said Cromarty innocently. Oh! Uh, probably caught some dreaded disease from your uncle's parrot, Ross. But I'll be all right. I must go down and wash the steps. Well, blow me, I thought. He's fainted. It didn't look at all good. Quickly, Ross, you get him to bed, and I'll make him a nice hot cup of tea. And kick, groaned Cromarty. Uh, and, and kick? Well, Cromarty made himself nice and comfy up in his bunk, and for the rest of the morning, he had Ross running up and down, keeping him supplied with mugs of tea and cake. Now, that made me suspicious. You know, Cromarty, you don't look at all well, said Ross. I think you should see a doctor. Oh, no. I'll be all right in a week or two. I'm terrifically brave, you know. I'm worried about Cromarty, said Ross. He seems to be quite ill. So would you be ill if you'd caught what Valencia's got? What's that, Bill? Well, I laugh. <laughs> She's just about to lay an egg. <laughs> and what about the spots? Ah, you've got to be careful of those spots, I said, as I dabbed Ross's face with paint. <laughs> They're catching. <laughs> well, just then, the invalid staggered down the stairs. Oh... Hello there, said Cromarty feebly. Just thought I'd pop down for a jam tart. Must keep my strength up. Don't worry. I understand, I said, playing along with his little game. You'd better sit down for a minute, Cromarty. I've discovered what's wrong with you. And I opened up a big black book. Now, Cromarty began to get worried. Uh, well, uh, well, what is wrong with me? Parrotitis. That's what it is. Parrotitis. It's all written down here in this book. Headaches, big red spots, and a longing for tea and cake. Hey, hey, that's it, cried Cromarty. That's what I got. A longing for tea and cakes. Ah, but wait. It goes on to say that the cure is a cold bath, followed by a strict diet of bird seed, and a big spoonful of castor oil every hour on the hour. Well, talk about a miracle cure. It not only changed Cromarty from being sick as a parrot to bouncy as a budgie, but it's also done wonders for Valencia. <laughs> if you see what I mean. <laughs> oh, come with me to the rolling sea while the weather's calm and still. And we'll have some fun and laughter with the adventures of Portland Bill.